a lot of times people ask, how do I know what God's will is? First, I have to share a little bit about what the kingdom of God is. When we understand the kingdom of God, it allows us to better understand the will of God. See, a kingdom isn't just like, you know, a castle and the walls. A kingdom is wherever the will of the king is being done. So if you think back to medieval times, if one kingdom overtook another kingdom, then now both kingdoms were part of, are now a part of the, the kingdom that won. Why? Because the will of the king is being done in both of those places. When Jesus demonstrated to the disciples how to pray, he said, thy kingdom come or your will or your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Which is really interesting because what it shows us is that God's will on earth is the same as it is in heaven. Jesus told the disciples, as you go preaching, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cast out demons, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Freely you have received, freely give. So we know that God's will is to heal, to set free, to save, and to deliver. There is no sickness, there's no death, there's no demons in heaven. And it's not God's will for it to be here either. It wasn't a part of the original design. It's contrary to the will of God. And God told, Jesus told the disciples to eradicate those things basically from, from, from people. And so when we understand what God's will is, we can pray in faith. But when we do not understand what God's will is, we can only pray in hope.